in this video i explain what is work what is the unit of work what is negative and positive work what is power and what is the unit of power in this video so first we understand work so, so work is said to be done when a force move through a distance okay I means suppose we take the examples of the cupboard okay so at our home in our room the cupboard is there okay and we need to move the cupboard from one corner to another corners okay at that time one single person is apply a force on the cupboard okay and the cupboard does not move okay when the cupboard does not move that means the work is equal to zero okay so when the cupboard is not moved by the one person then what we do we can take the another two or three persons and apply the force on the cupboard and cupboard is start to moves okay so when the cupboard is move it travel certain distance okay so when we apply the force on the any body and body start to move at that time we achieve some work done and if the body is not moved that means the work done is equal to zero means our energy is go to the waste okay so work is equal to force into distance move into a direction of force okay so body need to move in the direction of force not in the other directions okay and what is the unit of work so unit of work is the multiplications of unit of force and the distance okay so unit of force is newton unit of distance is meter so unit is newton into meter and newton into meter is also known as the joule okay so here you see this is the one person they are lifting the weight okay and the weight is 25 kg okay and what is the distance travel by this weight it is a 2 meters okay so how amount of the work done by this human okay so it is a first we need to calculate the force okay so suppose this force of this weight is 25 kg okay but here we need to put the force in newton so what we do we do the 25 into 9.8 at that time we get this force and distance is 2 meters so how amount of the work is done by this person to lift this weight it is a 25 into 9.8 once into distance okay suppose another person is try to lift this same weight that is a 25 kg but person are not able to lift this weight okay means the distance move in the direction of the force is zero then work done is equal to zero okay so here you see this another image okay this is the water turbines okay this is a turbine and in this turbine blades the water is strike okay means water is applying some force on the blade and this blade is start to rotate okay at that time we achieve some work done okay and this mechanical work of the turbine is supplied to these generators and generator is produce the electricity okay so it is considered as the positive work so these both the examples are the positive work because the output is given by the system okay so here human is systems and they are give output in a form of the work so it is considered positive this turbine is also give the work output then it is considered as the positive okay so if work is done by the system on the surrounding okay so here our human being is the system and they done some work on the surrounding this turbine is work on the surroundings okay so another examples of the positive work is when the fluid is expands pushing a piston outwards and the work is said to be positive means one piston cylinder arrangements okay and inside this arrangement the piston is expands okay means fluid is expand and the piston is move outwards at that time we achieve some output work and it is called as the positive work so work output of the system is considered as the positive means when the system is give output and output is in the form of the work then it is considered as the positive if work is done on the system by the surrounding means we are supplying work to the system it is considered as the negative work okay when force is applied to piston to compress the fluids means one cylinder piston arrangement is there and inside this cylinder piston arrangement some fluid is there okay and we need to compress this fluid at that time we need to supply some work to this piston cylinder arrangement so it is called as the considered as the negative work okay it means the compressor in a compressor we supply this mechanical work so it is the negative work in a pump pump means at our home we have the pump in a pump is used to lift the not lift but transport the water from the ground floor to the terrace okay 
so in this pump we are supplying some work done so this consider as the negative work so work output of the system then it is consider as the negative not the work output but it is a work input to the system here work input to the system is consider as the negative work now next is the power so there is a two definition of the power is there first power is defined as the rate of doing work or another definition is the power is work done per unit time so earlier we studied a work okay and this work is divided the divided by the time then it's give the definitions of the power okay so power is denoted as the p so p is equal to work done divided by times okay so we know the unit of the work done okay in the uh, last slides about the work so unit of the work is newton into meter and newton into meter is also known as the joule okay so unit of work is joule and the unit of time is seconds so unit of power is joule per seconds and the joule per second is also known as the watt okay and the watt is denoted as the w so watt is the very small unit of the power so another larger units are kilowatt and megawatt so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the bme or the eme subject as well as other subject of the mechanical engineering for the bme and eme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card card mean on a top right screen of your mobile or so laptop you see these ice and balls